Hello, hello, hello. What is going on, my fellow tankers? Today, we're going to be taking a look at a simple start of how to guides today. And what we're going to be doing, and first and foremost, is this is the Zyland, the Zylander build, the X build, basically, of Heroes and Generals. And today, what we're going to be taking a look at is how to light tank. Now, I know you guys are thinking, wait a minute, why am I, I starting on infantry, things like that? Simply put, because I'm recording these videos out of sync i.e. I'll be doing what I feel I want to do first and then I will upload them in a specific order. So don't worry, you're going to be getting your infantry videos, but uh, this is kind of a past tense, or is this a future tense? It's an inception kind of thing. So today what we're going to be taking a look at is we're going to be taking a look at the tankers. Most notably here is a German tanker, and here is an American tanker. Now, unlike uh, German tankers, American tankers don't get access to camouflage, which I think is horseradish, as where the German tankers can get camouflage. Uh, again, this is nowhere near a as uh, uh, a historically accurate as it was, because only the tank commander actually got the camouflage. The rest of the tank crew actually just either spent it in green or black. That's it. It's history. Now, apart from that, what I'm going to start off with is, is that I'm going to assume that you've been playing the game for quite some time and that you've either bought your tanker with uh, credits like I have where I've literally ground out a soldier, got him to rank 5 and turned him into a tank room. And now, I'm not assuming that you've used gold. I'm also going to assume that you're not having veteran membership like I am. So first things first, if you've bought your tanker with gold, this review may help you, this review, this, this guide I should say, may help you, it may not. If you have ground out your soldier like I have, then this will definitely help you. Now, as you can see, I've already got the Machine Pistol 34 for my German. I already unlocked it. Now, notice that the Gewehr 43 rifle is not available for your tanker. You cannot use it. The only weapons that you can use is basically what would be considered nowadays as PDWs or personal defense weapons. So, submachine guns like the MG34, Yes, and even the MP40 is technically considered a tanker's weapon. Pistols of both varieties, both the C96 and the Luger, otherwise known as the P08 Parabellum. Now, if you're going to go uh, uh, capture tanker, now this is where, again, your equipment loadout is what's going to determine what you're going to do as a secondary role apart from your primary. Now, your primary role as a tanker, now bear in mind this is a light tanks video guide. I will be doing a medium tanks video guide and a heavy tanks video guide as well as a tank destroyers video guide. So bear in mind, guys, those other three guides will be coming along much later on down the line. So today I am just going to be covering light tanks for you and in particular i'm not only going to be covering just german light tanks but also american i don't have any soviet light tanks unlocked just yet now as you can see i do have the panzerkampfwagen 1 alfs a and the panzerkampfwagen 2 alfs c unlocked now i don't own the panzerkampfwagen 2 alfs c yet yet being the keyword i am currently saving up the credits to buy it i'm at 43,000 of 57,000. And then once you unlock those two, again, you cannot. You, you can choose to boost the ribbon, as you can see here, using credits to get to your desired tank. I don't suggest you do that uh, as, a, as a player, but as a supporter of the game, I suggest you do. Because, again, you can use you know, credits and you can buy the gold to help support the game developer. Now, of course, this is how you progress down the tank line to unlock newer tanks. And yes, that is... One of my favorite World War II German tanks, the Panzerkampfwagen III Alfs J1. Uh, the J1, of course, uh, being a, uh, a very, 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 very retro-fitted uh, retro, uh, tank from the original uh, uh, Panzer III. The original Panzer III had a uh, how uh, a night a uh, was, no, it wasn't a night. It, it, it had a howitzer, short barrel. It had a snub barrel, a gun. This is the 50 millimeter uh, uh, gun upgrade. So. And of course, the very last tank you unlock is the Panzerkampfwagen 6 Tiger 2 or the King Tiger. Now, I don't plan, I don't suggest you use the King Tiger in anything other than the World War, because using it in small skirmishes uh, or, or balanced game mode, you're not going to make that much in credits. Period. Now, I have, as you can clearly see, just just barely un uh, uh, unlocked the Panzerkampfwagen 2 Alpha C. So. 
what I'm going to do is in this video, in, in this guide, you're not going to see any tank gameplay. You're just going to see my ideas of what I like to do just before I go into battle and what my primary roles are. You may see some combat footage. You may not. I don't know yet. Now, as you can see, when it comes to the Panzer, Panzer 1, it does take quite a while for you to unlock the uh, uh, penetrative ammo to do any kind of damage to uh, uh, light tanks. So for now, we're, we're, I'm going again. I'm going to assume that the only, you only have the SMKL uh, L Spar ammunition, which is only designed to kill soft targets. It is not designed to penetrate tanks. If you're going to penetrate a tank, you may do one, maybe two points of damage to that tank. This vehicle is meant to support infantry. Same along as the Panzer Kampfwagen 2 of C. It was meant to support infantry, and your infantry are meant to support you. Okay, guys? So if you're going to do a light tank platoon, you can do a mix. Have one of your friends in a Panzer 38, you in a Panzer 2 or a Panzer 1. You concentrate on getting rid of anyone that's trying to take your pet friend out with Panzer Shreks, Panzer Fausts, things of that nature. Spot other light tanks, harass them, while your friend in the Panzer 38 stays back and just plicks at them and takes them out with his main 37 millimeter gun as where your little uh, machine guns ain't going to do nothing they're not going to do anything you're not going to kill any kind of tank with those guns so you got to understand primary role support infantry see where the main push is and go with them of course be smart be smart as you push check corners check windows check rooftops and most importantly, the moment you hear gunfire, button up your tank. Get inside. Don't stick your head out. Because that's how snipers get you. Once you're out of your tank, it's easy for the allies to come up and yoink your tank. And most importantly, if you have lost your tank, tell your teammates in chat. Not just your friends that you have on TeamSpeak, Skype, uh, uh, Raid Call, whatever. Tell people in chat 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 do you see type say guys i have lost my tank in map grid a3 for example let them know where you lost your tank so that they can keep an eye out for it and if they see it driving down the road they know it's not a friendly tank so they're not gonna turn their back on it okay guys rule one communicate Communicate with not only your platoon or your clan, but also with the other members in your game. Now, my American tanker, he has the M5 Stuart. This is basically the higher tier tank. Yes, I do have two M2A2 light tanks. Don't ask. It was a glitch in the game. Uh, I do also have the Chaffee unlocked. No, I do not own the Chaffee. And no, I am not going to own the Chaffee. So my light tank guides are not going to cover the M24 Chaffee. Now there's a reason why. The reason is the M4 Sherman is actually cheaper to buy than the M24 Chaffee. I don't know why, it just is. And so I'm, I plan on just sticking with the M5 A1 Stuart tank. Okay guys, now as you can see my Stuart tank, I do have uh, both the APCR and the HE. So you know I'm pretty up there. I also have the ability to get the ammunition supply crates or the anti-tank supply crates. So they're always right there, my friends. Now, I tend to go with medical supplies. Again, you're supporting your infantry. However, lately, I have decided to go with more of an anti-tank role. So what I might do later on today is swap out and have some Panzer Shreks on the back of my tank to help allies help me take out enemy armor. Now, again, it's a hybrid life. When you are a tanker, it is a hybrid life. Okay, guys? So what I'm going to start off with now is I'm going to work on your perks. They call them combat badges, but if you're a first-person shooter player, you know that they've always been per called perks, and they always will be. As you can see, I have quite a few perks unlocked already. Now, this tank driver I bought with gold. So the majority of these perks I have actually physically unlocked myself by either getting out the tank and doing various things or... or various other ways now heavy set heavy set is a must period this is what's going to stop those pesky one shot kill bolt actions from killing you especially if you can get heavy set silver 
which as you guys can see, I am so close, I can smell it. Heavy set gold, of course, naturally will stop it, period, full stop. I'm also gonna be taking, and as you can see, that's why he has heavy set silver, sorry. Oh no, sorry, this isn't my gold tanker, this is my infantryman. So, you know, and I take the fast reload to help with my SMG for when I have to get out of the tank and do what needs to be done. Now, of course, once I start unlocking specific tank perks, I plan on loading those tank perks. Now, what tank perks are there? Now, they did remove the tank damage perk. Now, what that was, it was a specific badge that allowed your tank to do extra damage to other tanks. They removed it. And so now all you've got is armor damage, which will give you gunner. And basically what gunner does is it allows you to reload your weapon faster, basically. That's it. It just allows you to get more shells downrange to do more damage. And then you've got armor assault, which unlocks your vehicles. Tank driver, of course, unlocks other perks like tank thief. Tank Thief allows you to steal an enemy tank quicker. So instead of you standing there for a minute and 30 seconds, you actually stand in there for maybe a minute. And of course, it goes all the way up to... Um, there's also a mechanic how you can wrench and, and t heal your tank faster. Tank of Bronze. I know exactly how your armor, your, your armor's engine and electrics works. Allow you to get... Basically, that allows you to start the tank faster, uh, of course. So if you're planning on, on being a Tank Thief which is actually a viable uh, uh, just for the lulls build. You'll want to take tank thief, bro tank thief and Tanker. Basically, you steal the tank quicker after you've killed the owner, of course. You start the tank quicker and you get the hell out of there. Of course, you can. Well, if you have a wrench, you can also repair the tank as well. But you can't repair it as fast as someone who is a dedicated uh, uh, hardcore tanker because the first other perk they take is mechanic with the wrench, which is right here. As you can see, I don't have the wrench unlocked just yet. So once I've got the wrench unlocked, I do plan on taking a mechanics build along with the uh, reload. So I get to reload my tank faster. And of course, here is your tank's unlock tree to unlock vehicles. Yes, I have stolen an M8 Greyhound. Don't ask. It was hilarious. The lols ensued. So did the same as the uh, Jeeps and the Cougarbuggins. Now, as you can see, I am third, third gold star rank with the machine pistol 34 so I, I clearly know what i'm doing and of course i'm four star silver with the gewehr 43 so again this is also how you get driver and chauffeur perks now to get the chauffeur per basically all the chauffeur does is help unlock logistics now iron fist and that th this perk does not affect tanks this perk only affects things like bazookas and panzer shreks it does not affect anti-tank mines or anti-tank grenades, okay? Because they're not technically hand weapons. They're not in your hand. And of course, driver is what you get, which helps you unlock mechanic bronze, driver bronze, car thief bronze as well. So there are more than one ways of unlocking the same perks. Okay, guys, you can do it. You just got to know how. Okay, so my perks are set up. My vehicle's set up. Don't forget to click this little wrench and check box these auto repairs. Trust me, it saves you a lot of headache down the line. Now, how can you guarantee that you're going to get in the game as a tanker? Well, you hit enter combat. Now, of course, the war is the world war. Yes, apparently you're going to gain 50% more EXP rank and 50% more ribbon EXP, and you're going to earn more war funds. However, this is where you have to pick a faction, and I've gone Soviet. So, there you go. Now, under stage battles, this is where you can pick what map you want to pick, fight on and what soldiers you want to take. For example, I have purposely got only my tanker selected. Now, what this does is, yes, my, 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 my queue time is a little bit longer, but I'm guaranteed to get to play as my tanker to get EXP. So we're going to click Find Battle. And as always, the estimated EQ time is a work of fiction. Wow, maybe not. And as you can see, there's that round little Eastern. So I'm going to start off at, at the C point, which isn't bad for me. And this looks like it's a, 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 a game that's just started. And of course, you can switch your color schemes and whatnot. 
I, I tend to just leave it at the stock blue and red. Paying homage to red versus blue. Now, here I am. I've loaded. Now I'm going to let my team know that I'm an anti-infantry tank. So I'm just letting them know that I, all I've got is a Panzer 1C and that I can't really kill anything like an M5 Stuart or anything. Even if I get behind the M5 Stuart, the stock ammunition, see, and Sniper Dog replied. Thank you, Sniper Dog. Uh, so, you know, they know that I can't do anything against any heavily armor. So if I spot enemy armor, I'm going to back off. I'm going to break com I'm going to break line of sight, just break period. And if I see infantry trying to assault the vehicle, yeah, I may pop back up, fire a couple of shots. You know, pop off a couple of shots and, and you know, allow the infantry to do their thing, attach their mines or, or, or fire their bazookas or their panzerstrecks, whatever they need to do. Again, I'm here to support the infantry. I'm not here to be a lone wolf. That's not what it's about. Okay, guys? You're thinking, oh, I'm in a tank. I can't be killed. Wrong. You can be. You can be killed quicker quicker than snot. Okay? You've just got to learn to be smart. Okay? And there's Sniper Dog. Who's in a Panzer 38? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. See? No combat, we just spawned, so it's safe to keep your head out. Now, also hold control, and you see what you do? You bring up your, your commander's cupola, the, 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 the metal shield to protect you for a brief second. Now, if I see target in front of me, move, I'm buttoning up, okay, moving on to C3, now I'm buttoning up, I'm just acknowledging what uh, Sniper Dog said to me. Enemy tank, enemy tank. Now again, nothing I could do. To see what I'm saying? Constant freaking again, he had the, the, the armor advantage of having the the ammunition to take me out. I did. Sniper dog can now kill him because sniper dog has the front armor to protect him and the, the 38 uh, 37 millimeter gun to kill him. I myself plan on just ignoring that that M2, and of course it's the starting American light tank. Now he's probably done that, he's probably uh, made them break contact, and he's pushed on in. Nicely done. I myself, again, I was probably the first one to die, so I'm going to move up with him now. Then I'm going to come around. I should have gone around in the first place. I shouldn't have gone up the main road. It was my own fault. Buttoning up. Again, because we don't know if there's going to be snipers. Or whatnot anywhere. Uh, 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 
like someone's trying to take Charlie 3. So I'm going to make my way to Charlie 3. Again, I'll need to investigate. Is that M2, I'm going to break contact. shells and I don't. Sometimes you gotta get out your tank and do the right thing. That was the tanker from the M2. We, we killed him earlier. Okay, we have. Charlie 3 again. Well, there's two tanks right there. But at cap speed, there's at least two people there.
nothing I could do. Again, this is the issue with infantry supported tanks that aren't getting support. Plain and simple, that this is the key issue. to do now is just cut right down to the airfield and let those guys who are in the second tank company deal with them. This also, you know, kind of helps give you the tank and med. One of the things about it being such a wide map, like this, you've always got more than one place to go. Gotta be careful because some of the enemy tanks do spawn at the church behind me. So what I'm doing now is I'm pushing into the airfield. I 
utilize the bridge. That's why you should do that, my friend. Why you should never st oh my god rule one infantry never wait around like that we now have the bridge i do have my heavy set park on so i'm not really worried about that many bolt actions granted it's only heavy set bronze but still it's it's a heavy set uh. And apparently it will not save me so somehow that guy got a headshot on me from all the way over there okay so it looks like we go all the way back here we to have a uh, AFK tank so we've got Edge and his Panzer 38 he can help take care of any, any M5 stewards Buttoning up is uh, something you want to do, especially about now in this combat zone. And you always want to keep for uh, infantry with Panzer Shreds, Panzer Fausts, AAA emplacements. Always got to be careful of those little suckers. Uh, right there. Same guy again. All because of a freaking bicycle in the middle of the road. Now, uh, try and protect that tanker, as you can see, who's pushed too far in without infantry support. Do you see this, guys? This is why you should never get balls fucking deep. That guy literally just lone wolfed it, and it cost him his tank. And that would be my dogs barking their freaking head off while I'm trying to record a video! It's my American Bulldog. She barks at even leaves rusting and it's raining right now. So according to her, everything's trying to kill her. So it's bark at everything. So I, I do apologize about that, guys. But um, as you can see, tanks need to stick together. Now, again, I'm an anti-infantry tank. I, even if I did get the uh, armor piercing rounds, it would still take a lot for me to kill uh, uh, an M5 still or a Chaffee. I, I'm actually glad that right now I haven't come across any Chaffees. Okay, we've got an unmanned tank there. There's the owner. That's an American weapon. Remember, always tap your space bar to uh, sight in the weapon sights to the distance that your reticle is aiming at. We bounced off of him. He's dead. That stage, you're welcome, mate. My church, you just don't know it yet. Now, I'm not moving, I'm gonna let that infantry move up and surprise. Okay, we've got two infantry 
running up. Three infantry running up. Did they get him? Did they get him? Now we're taking O3. Now we've got to be careful. You're in the way, you're in the way! You're in the way! Oh come on, I'm reloading, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, we won. GG. I'm going to rate that three stars. And so that's literally what it's like playing as a German tanker. Always support your infantry, guys. Don't try and lone wolf it. Do not do what that tanker did earlier, as you saw. Him going off by himself and, all, and out of literally nowhere, all those allies just swarmed him. That's the dangers you face. If you try to be a lone wolfer. And there we go. I've got the medical supply crate now. And Tank Thief Bronze. Uh, not that I plan on doing the Tank Thief build, of course. Um, but do you see what I'm saying, guys? Don't try and lone wolf it. Because it's just going to end up hurting you in the long run. Now, it cost me 615 credits to repair my tank. And I made just over 5,000. So I made a nice bit of penny there. The match lasted 21 minutes. You can do it, guys. Yes, I got out my tank a few times and had to kill a few foot mobiles. But you know what? If it has to be done, it has to be done, guys. You know? And of course, I just unlocked the medical supply crate. It's taking a while for the ribbons to actually catch up. Which means the SMK heart ammo uh, will be the next ammo I get, which is designed... Uh, uh, to penetrate 13 millimeters of armor at 100 millimeters distance, which means I will be able to somewhat protect myself from some uh, Stuarts and a few other things like that, which is a good, always good news. Uh, so, again, guys, you can do it. And of course, this was a simple introductory guide to basic German infantry tanking. Uh, of course, the next video I'll do will most likely be a video on tank on tank combat pertaining to the Panzerkampfwagen 2 Alf C or the Panzerkampfwagen 38 T Alf E. So until then guys, uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I greatly appreciate it. It lets me know that you like these sort of videos and that you want more of them. If you didn't like this video, please give it a thumbs down. And of course that lets me know not to bother making any more of these videos. And until then, guys, I will see you in the next one. And of course, my name is Deceptive Cobras, and I'll see you in the battlefield. And don't forget, keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.